Hello guys, my name is Matt from studiojollyroger.com and I would like to share some of our last projects which is called by me Legion of Damned Stormcasts. If you are a Warhammer 40k player, you are probably familiar with Legion of the Damned and our goal was to transfer this color scheme or this uh, style of Space Marines to a Stormcast army for obviously Age of Sigmar. I will try to explain the main ideas behind this project and showcase the most important pieces. Obviously it is very big army, uh, but I can't tell you how many points because I can't count in Age of Sigmar. Okay, so the initial idea was to paint whole army like her. And uh, this was the first sample we did for this uh, project. But uh, our client changed his mind after seeing this one and decided to go with Mm, this Legion of the Damned color scheme. Mm, so we did another uh, sample model, which is a little bit different. She has darker armor, that's one change. And the second and the biggest change is her helmet, because mm, the Legion of the Damned has these cool patterns all over the armor we decide to make it like the main theme going through the whole army. So every model in helmet has this school pattern on painted on his face. And it's like one thing that is common for all the models. Also, uh, the Legion of the Damned has a lot of um, like the flames patterns on their armor, but we couldn't do that, so we did like glowing eyes or weapons on the smaller details on all the models. So that's another like the element element of the team. Other than that, we tried to keep the color scheme or color palette very simple. So we use only few colors and try to not add too much to it. And I guess these Stormcast models are just very good for for this. Uh, this guy actually has this cool helmet. It is the only model which uh, had the, all the details already sculpted. But other than that, we had to paint all these skulls on all the models. And it was very good idea. We also tried to add as much flames and this strange pattern that suggests the flaming wings uh, to the dragon because it's like centerpiece of the army so we try to make it as shiny and visible on the table as possible. And I'm, I guess this, this is another mm, like the main theme connecting all the monsters and creatures in the army because uh, we try to make them look like their insides are in flames or glowing. So they have glowing mouths, glowing eyes and glowing earpieces. This guy is uh, actually only model which don't have, it, have the helmet. Maybe there are two more, but... Uh, we decided just to paint their skin normally. Mm, and what can I say? We had to keep it as simple as possible to get all models with the same style because they are really, really different. So uh, if you would use too much different details, they wouldn't look like one big army. Uh, which I guess can be not so bad thing, but we wanted to make it look like one unified force. And I must say at the beginning of Age of Sigmar, I wasn't big fan of Stormcast models. 
because they were just too simple and too close to the Space Marines. But uh, now I'm after this project, I'm more. Uh, I like the models much more than I did before, and because turns out there is some variety. Of course, the, even the uh, like wizards are in the power armor <laughs> or whatever it, this is, but um, the monsters and the different kind of units give some variety to the whole army. So it's it's much different than I expected at the beginning. If you want to see the pictures of all the models, and there is a link in the description box when you can find full gallery of all the units and single models. So yeah, if you want to see more of them, and that's the way to do it. And I must say I'm really proud of the result and my team. So hopefully we'll have much more of this kind of work in the future and hopefully it was a cool video to watch if you like it let me know and i will try to share more of our uh, projects uh, in the future so take care and see you in the next video cheers